Welcome to another episode of Lisa's Eats. And today we are going to be sharing with you one of the most quintessential pieces of Australian cuisine, fairy bread. Now, if you've never had fairy bread before, it's almost at any occasion. I was literally at, okay, I've got to stop that accent now. I was at my friend Jess's engagement party the other day and she had fairy bread on the table alongside her beautiful cake and everything else. And I was like, this is why we're friends. It might seem like a joke, but honest to God, fairy bread is one of those things, like if it's not at a party, it's not a party. And we will be eating this until we're old and gray in a retiring retirement home. And I love it so much. When you see it at a party, especially if you've had a few to drink, everyone loses their absolute These are the quintessential ingredients you're going to need for your fairy bread. Now. You can make as much as you like. This is why I'm not giving exact measurements, but I'm telling you the brands that we use as Australians. We will be using our white toast sandwich loaf, tip top the one, good on your mum, Western star butter, original spread, because that's always what I've had and that's what we're using. And then hundreds of thousands. Now these are very exotic. You can only find them in the best of IGAs, Coles and Woolies. Beautiful. Let's get started. So first, you must select the best of the slices of bread from your loaf and place in front of you. Now, as you can see, we're using beautiful white bread here. If you use whole grain, that's considered troll bread. No one likes troll bread. We want fairy. And then, of course, if you really wanted to spice things up, instead of butter, you could use Nutella, but that's not original fairy bread. Now, ensure that your butter is at room temperature or just beautiful for spreading. We're going to take a nice dollop of it and evenly spread across our delicious bread. Now it's important to use normal butter that is slightly salted because it gives a beautiful contrast between the sweet hundreds and thousands. Now once your bread is beautifully buttered there are a few methods of which you can sprinkle it with your delicious hundreds and thousands. The first is the simple sprinkle where you take a handful or so and just lightly apply. The second method is the dipping method in which you take your slice of bread and you lightly apply to the sprinkles. Apply firm pressure. Absolutely stunning. And repeat because these are the only two methods that I know of. My knowledge is very limited. I'm a very simple person. I personally do prefer the pat down method because I find it evenly distributes them better than the sprinkle method, plus it's slightly less messy. As you can see, there are quite a few that's scattered around the workbench. Now, it's important that we cut them into quarters. We're not savages, there must be delicate and easy to place in one's mouth. And then arrange in such a delicate manner that will appease the gods of the fairy bread. So that's how you make my delicious fairy bread. I want to stop the accent again, I can't. I'm so excited. This is just one of my favorite childhood things. I've had it growing up, I have it now, and I'm sure I'm going to have it well into the future. And just highly recommend to make this because it's a staple in Australian food and culture. Let's eat. You must have grown up on fairy bread when you were here as well. Oh, definitely when I was here. If it Absolutely. wasn't, oh yeah, not in the UK, but like, yeah, no, this, this yeah. was a foreign concept to me when I arrived at a, my first party when I moved Jeez. here when I was 10 years old and there was this stuff and I went, what is this? And like, it's fairy bed, you don't know what it is? <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Oh, delectable. Bully. <laughs> I mean, it's simple. I think it means so much more to us because we had it growing up as kids. Mm. and. But I love it. It's a, it's got a special place in my heart. I think in everyone, in every any Aussie kid's heart slash adult slash everything. 
everything. It's just, it's just great. Oh, it's just more, everything you want. It's just simple. Hey guys, thanks, thanks for, watching for watching this video. video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And leave a comment in the section below so that we can make something you've always wanted to eat. Because I love it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Preferably anime or something TV related or something like that or something awesome game related.